The parabola. Today we're going to talk about the parabola in a slightly different way. We're going to think of it as a distance. In particular, it's going to be the set of all points in a plane that's the same distance from a fixed point called the focus and a fixed line called the directrix. So we've got this parabola here. We have an A value, as we used to think of it, of 1 fourth, which tells us it is vertically compressed by 1 fourth the amount. It's got a center or a vertex at the origin, and this is our equation. So a moment ago, I mentioned that this is going to actually be a distance from a focus and a directrix. And the way we're going to find that is we're first going to rewrite this equation by moving the 1 fourth over there by multiplying both sides by 4. I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. And we're now going to have the equation 4y equals x squared. That's the standard form of a parabola where we get the squared term by itself. So getting the squared term here leaves us 4y over on the other side. Now, what we want to realize is that the form of the equation that we're now looking at is in the form of 4 times p times y equals x squared. So p is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So we can realize there's 4p in our equation. There's 4p there. We can solve 4p equals 4. And if we go ahead and divide the 4 out on both sides, we find that p equals 1. So what I'm saying is the focus is one unit from the vertex. And it's always going to be to the inside of the parabola. Since this is a positive 1 and our parabola is going to open up, we know that because the x is the squared term. It's going to open up or down. And p is positive. So it's going to go up one unit. Right there is the focus. Now the opposite direction, if we go down one unit, that's going to give us the directrix. And the directrix would be right there. So what I'm telling you about this is that the distance from the focus to any point and then perpendicular down to the directrix is the same length. So notice that's one unit there, that's one unit there. Those are both the same length. We could go all the way up to here and then from here we would go straight down to there. And those are the same length. So that's our new definition of a parabola is with this focus and directrix. You'll notice the axis of symmetry, which is our line that goes directly through the vertex, also goes to the focus and is perpendicular to the directrix. That's our vertex that we're used to seeing as well. There's one more line item I want to show you, and it is this line right here that goes through the focus and has endpoints on the actual parabola. Notice that distance is 4. Notice that our value right here, 4p, is that same distance. So the distance of this is 4 times p, or it, this is called the lattice rectum, by the way. You'll read about that. That is kind of an indicator of the width of your parabola. So, the main thing here, it's a length, so it's always absolute value. So we can say the lattice rectum is equal to the absolute value of 4 times p. The directrix, let's see that orange, directrix, that is going to either equal x equals negative p or y equals negative p. And that's because it's the opposite direction as it would be to the focus, which is why I'm going to say right here, the 
focus is P units from the vertex. So, when we get this equation here, what we want to do is we want to isolate the square term first. So we multiply both sides by 4 to move that over to there. We then realize that that multiplier is equal to 4 times p. So we set 4p equal to that multiplier. Divide out that number 4 to get the p value, and that gives you the distance from the vertex to the focus. The opposite direction is the distance from the vertex to the directrix, and that is going to be perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. The lattice rectum goes through the focus from one endpoint on the parabola to another endpoint on the parabola, and its distance is 4p, that multiplier right there. So I hope this helps you out. In the next video, I'll show you how to work with this and how to do translations and a thing called the degenerate conic. So I will see you then.